Hello YouTube. So I haven't posted a video for a while, but I am still working on solar related projects. And what I found is that solar panels are abundant and cheap, but the battery technology still has some way to go. And so I really wanted to discuss building a better battery. And I have an idea, and hopefully I can portray that in this video. So currently, a typical setup might be 12 volt batteries, 12 volt lead acid batteries in parallel. And this is an example of four 100 amp hour 12 volt batteries in parallel with uh, a typical input from solar panels and power provided by an inverter. But in this situation, you can see that one of the batteries has a low voltage. Now, when batteries are in parallel like this, you can't actually detect this low voltage. Every battery will show roughly the same voltage, but what will happen is this battery will steal energy from the other batteries. So you will have current flowing like this. Now, effectively, a battery with a voltage this low probably has a dead cell. And as you try to charge it, the cell itself will, uh, will heat up and waste energy. Um, so as you can see, having batteries in parallel like this isn't always great. And if you want a bigger system, you're at even more risk. And when one of these batteries dies, you're not going to know straight away. The battery might die and bring the other batteries down with it. And batteries cost a lot of money and they don't last very long anyway. So what if you put them in series? Well, if you want to run a 24 volt system, you have to put two batteries in series, but you can still have the same issue where one battery can have a lower voltage. And as you see, the pairs of batteries can represent the same issue where one battery is going to put its power into another battery. And essentially you can lose the whole bank. So it's important to remember that a 12 volt battery, a 12 volt lead acid battery in particular, is made up from six cells. And if the battery was at 12.6 volts, then hopefully each cell would be at 2.1 volts. When a battery goes bad, it means that one of the cells um, has really gone out of whack. And so this is an example of a battery that you might think is fully charged because it's registering at 13.5 volts. However, um, the cells, five of them are at two volts and one of them is at 3.5 volts. Now, ideally at 13.5 volts, every cell would be at 2.25 volts. So in this case, this one cell is overcharging. Um, it could have been damaged because it was dropped. It could have been damaged from heat. And may, you know, maybe the battery has just, is just aging. Either way, at this point, the cell is getting hot you're wasting energy because you're just producing heat here and you're also producing hydrogen in a lead acid battery, which could ignite if it, if it came into contact with a spark. Now, lithium ion batteries are a little bit more advanced. They have a typically have a battery management system. And if one of the cells in the battery um, is over voltage, then the battery management system will try to burn off power. The battery management system can also completely isolate the battery um, from whatever it's connected to. Now, it's important to have this on a lithium ion cell because if you overcharge a lithium ion cell, the cell can actually explode. Um, I think they call it a flame out. And uh, lithium ion cells are also very powerful. Now, the other issue here is that uh, a battery management system is a lot of additional cost. So now we get to what is essentially my idea. Instead of having a lithium ion battery with cells in series, I would like to create a lithium ion energy reservoir where many lithium ion cells are connected in parallel and they're connected to a 12 volt battery 
via a brain. Essentially, when the 12 volt battery is charging, the brain will charge the lithium ion cells. And if the 12 volt battery is being discharged, then the brain will take power from the lithium ion cells and provide it to the lead acid battery. So here's an example at scale. Here's your 12 volt battery and the solar power coming in and power being provided to your house or whatever, whatever you're providing power to. And here are multiple lithium ion reservoirs. Now an advantage to having these lithium ion reservoirs connected with a brain in between means that they can be connected and disconnected at will. So if one of these lithium ion batteries goes bad, instead of that battery bringing down the entire system, the brain can just disconnect it and stop it from ruining things. So here's a more in detail look at how this would be laid out. So if you can imagine a box, almost like a briefcase, these would be the lithium ion cells. Here's the bus bars. There'd be one on top for a positive and one on bottom for a negative. And then here are smaller bus bars with fusible links. Now, if one of these uh, lithium ion cells goes bad, the link would break and it wouldn't cause any issues. You'd also have a fan to provide cooling and an exhaust for the ventilation. And this entire lithium ion cell pack would be connected via an Arduino, um, which would sense the voltage of the bank it's connected to. It would also display diagnostic information on an LCD panel. If the 12 volt bank is below 12.7 volts, then the Arduino would activate a um, voltage booster which would provide power to the 12 volt bank. On the other hand, if the <clears throat> voltage is above 13 volts, then the Arduino would use a bug converter to take power from the 12 volt bank to recharge the lithium ion cells. So with many of these connected in parallel, they could all help provide power to a lead acid battery when it's under load, effectively meaning that the lead acid battery itself is just working as a buffer. So that's the idea, and I'm going to try to build it. I don't actually have any soda panels connected right now, but I can, um, I can kind of fake a soda panel being connected and I can fake a load. So look forward to another video where I'll show my progress. All right, see ya.